So what they say the cost of college is going to be in like 18 years is just insane, but we definitely still want to be planning somewhat for it. Did you ever stop and think Hey guys, I'm Marissa. I've been expecting a first time mom to do with our baby boy in May, and today I'm sharing our 26 week pregnancy update. Crazy time is just flying by, and I've been sharing my weekly updates here on YouTube. If you are new and you missed it, um, I will go ahead and leave a link to the playlist here up above so you can check out other weeks that I've um, experienced and talked about. But I've kind of followed a certain format with all of these videos. First off, sharing the size of baby and then sharing all the symptoms that I've experienced this week as well as baby prep that I am doing it getting ready for baby to be here and of course show you that bump shot so first off how big is baby so I get such good like conflicting information with all these apps I feel like but one app that I've been using is called pregnancy plus and at week 26 it says that he is 14.4 inches and 1.93 pounds so almost two pounds and it says that he's been like the size of a papaya for the past like few weeks and it also says that this week he's the size of a papaya so I don't know. Another app says that he is the size of an acorn squash. I don't even know what an acorn squash looks like to be quite honest. Either way he's definitely growing and getting bigger. So symptoms that I've experienced this week. It's actually been a pretty great week in pregnancy I feel like. So first off I've had lots of movement. I feel him like moving all the time and it's become more than just like kicking it's like I feel him just like moving all around I don't know how else to explain it but he's just like moving from one side to the other that's what it feels like right now um when I went in for my 20 week ultrasound he was actually breached and so I don't know if he I hope that he's going to be moving into downward position but I know that there still is a lot of time for that so I don't I'm like maybe you're moving into the right position I don't know what he's up to but definitely moving around a lot. I also had one night this week where I like couldn't sleep. We lost my great uncle this week and that was really difficult and the night after we lost him I just my mind just kept going through everything and so I didn't sleep well and at like 3 a.m. that night he was baby boy was like moving all around like my belly was like looked like an ocean. He was just like very awake at 3 a.m. and unfortunately so was I. But yes, definitely experiencing more movement. Another thing is no heartburn. So I've shared in the past few videos that heartburn has been real and it was like very painful and uncomfortable and I'd have to like have Tums and everything. But I don't think I've had to take any Tums in the last week. I don't think I've had like any heartburn at all. So that's been really great. I also, maybe this is why I haven't had as much heartburn, I've also just been craving milk. And I feel like this entire pregnancy, people always ask you like when you're pregnant, like what are you craving? And I honestly haven't been craving anything in particular this entire pregnancy, besides I just had some like aversions in the beginning, um, in like the first trimester. But in the last like week or so, I've just really been craving milk. And before I was pregnant, I was not at all a, I would never actually drink milk. I'll eat like, I'd eat cheese and ice cream and like milk products, but never just straight up milk. But now I just crave milk. And so we actually have gotten some like chocolate milk, which I know, I, I know regular milk would have been better for me, but I've been having like more chocolate milk. Like I'll have like a glass in the evening and stuff. And so I don't know if that's been, I don't know if that's what's been helping with like relief of the heartburn, but the milk, I've just really wanted milk for some reason, which is odd to me because again, never been a thing. Another thing that I've experienced this week is a little more skin sensitivity. So I've shared in the past, um, I had some skin sensitivity like on my chest earlier in my pregnancy like my necklaces here seem to be like giving me a reaction on my chest and so I didn't wear jewelry for a while and then also my earrings were kind of bothering me now that part's fine and besides that my skin has actually been really soft and really clear during like my entire pregnancy which I'm honestly not used to having like soft skin my skin has always stayed like pretty clear like from acne and stuff but um, before before I was pregnant, I definitely had really like dry skin, especially in the winter time. But my skin has never been like more soft. That being said, I also though have had like some skin irritation on my ring finger, um, where my wedding ring is. It's given me like a rash and been uncomfortable. So I'm actually not wearing my wedding ring right now because of that. I've, I'm trying to give it a break to let it like air out, but it does have like a red 
mark of where my ring is because it's like dry and irritated. So that is something new that I've experienced this week and I know that skin irritation could be something from pregnancy. The other thing that I've noticed is that my belly is definitely getting bigger. I put on the like Palmer's lotion, like the cocoa butter lotion stuff, like every morning and every evening on my belly. I haven't had any stretch marks so far, although I know it's very early into it and I definitely could. I am not going to be like heartbroken if I get stretch marks, but I feel like I just want to keep my skin as hydrated as possible if I can, like why not? But um, my belly is definitely growing and I feel like in the morning it looks just like a little bit red. And I don't know if that's from just like sleeping or anything, but I feel like my skin, the skin on my belly is definitely looking like a little more red. Also, honestly, a little more veiny, which is kind of weird. But those are like things that I've noticed on my belly. As well as as it's getting bigger, it's just getting in the way a little bit more. I find that it's a little bit more difficult for me to tie my shoes in the morning. And also, um, I work in accounting and so we still do use like paper and filing cabinets in some instances. We try and go mostly electronic. But there's some things I have to do with like filing paperwork sometimes. And this week I had to do some filing and it was like on the bottom filing cabinet and it was just exhausting to sit there and like try and file everything away. So I've definitely been noticing that the belly's starting to get in the way just a little bit more. So baby prep that's happened this week, some pretty exciting things. If you guys have been following my channel, then you know that I am a total like budget nerd. I love planning for finances. I love all things personal finance and planning for our budget. And so what something that we did this week was actually go to talk with our financial advisor about what's next for us as we are about to have baby here very soon and things that we should be doing with our finances. So we are actually finishing up saving for an emergency fund right now. We're trying to have a goal of 25,000 in an emergency fund, which we should be done with by like April and May before baby's here. And then we want to start doing other financial things like saving more for retirement and those sorts of things. But also, since we are expecting a child, I'm trying to figure out like college planning and saving for college. So if you guys know anything of my story, just like real quick, my husband and I paid off $87,000 of student loan debt. We both went to private universities and it was definitely expensive. And I will say that the two and a half years that we sacrificed to be able to pay off all that debt were definitely not easy. And so as we think about having kids of our own, we really wanna be able to help save for college and kind of ease that burden a little bit more. So we were talking to our financial advisor and it's crazy of just trying to figure out college planning. I think that what we're going to do is open up a 529 college savings plan and we're going to save like a couple hundred dollars each month into that. The way that they are looking at projecting out the cost of college because the cost has gone up so much is that they said that by if college keeps rising at the rate that it's going, in 18 years when baby boy will be a grown adult and be going to college, it would cost like $300,000 to attend a four year in state like public university, which is crazy and makes absolutely no sense. I don't know how college could possibly get that high. I don't know if it will, uh, who knows. But that being said, it's been like kind of difficult to think of like how much do we actually need to save because we don't know what the cost of college will actually be. I think that our plan though with saving for college is that we expect to save some for college, but we also are expecting our kids to be able to get scholarships, to work while they're in school and contribute to their own college. And so we definitely aren't planning to just like pay for everything for our kids' college, but we also want them to have like skin in the game and be able to like work for some of that. So $200 a month isn't going to completely cover like a $300,000 college bill in 18 years but it will definitely cover some in a good chunk and then hopefully he can also get scholarships and everything. So that's been an interesting thing that we've um, been planning for. And again, planning for college, I'm not like a professional financial advisor, this is not financial advice, but it can totally vary depending on like, are you wanting to pay for private school or public school or are you wanting to pay for the whole thing or just some or what that looks like. So for us, I think that what that looks like is just right now putting $200 a month into his college savings plan. And that won't be until he has a social security number. So I'm not sure when we'll end up getting that, but we're hoping to start like this summer. We wanna start that as soon as possible and start incorporating that into our budget. 
And I think that when you just start something in your budget and you have that as like a fixed line item, it you may feel it for a couple months, but then afterward it just kind of becomes the norm. So that's why we want to get started with this early and also have time and compound interest to hopefully be able to accumulate more for 18 years for when he ends up going off to college or whatever, you know, his plans may be. So here's a look at the bump. I know I'm wearing black, but when I turn to the side, you can definitely see the bump there. The other thing that I'll mention when it comes to the bump is that I have an any belly button, like really far any, and I've always been really self-conscious about it. And as you can see now, it's like I have a little divot, I feel like, in my bump. So, which is my belly button. I don't expect for it to ever pop because I've had such an innie, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just a little self-conscious about my divot here, but I know I shouldn't be that self-conscious about it. But anyway, there is a look at the bump here at 26 weeks. So that's all I have for this 26 week pregnancy update. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more pregnancy related videos and I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready?